the new Porsche Taycan GTS. So let's have a closer look at it. You have a fully digital instrument panel here. Then you have a very sleek steering wheel with some small buttons. Uh, there's also a knob here for changing the drive modes. Now the rest of the interior is a bit weird because there's a lot of screens here. So you have this main screen here that's uh, with navigation on. So if you come to the main menu, which could have been a little bigger, there's some space on the right hand side. Um, there, is, there are of course shortcuts on the left hand side, such as you have the telephone uh, option here. You have uh, navigation here, multimedia, and of course car information. Now the passenger also has another screen for themselves. You now they can, you know, choose the, whatever they want, the multimedia, climate control, whatever they want to control from there. Now this secondary screen also has, you know, the same features that you have on the main screen. I'm being a little delicate, that's how I'm not touching it very, uh, you know, with full force. But you do get uh, the options for the seat, uh, seat massaging and everything that you can control from the secondary screen. Was there really a need for two screens? I don't think so. You have really nice cup holders here with the light inside them. Now, the GTS model has uh, basically black seats and red stitching everywhere. So these seats are nice. They are sports seats, but they are quite comfortable. Now, G GTS models are usually, you know, the lightweight models and they're a little sportier. Uh, and that is, of course, reflective in the screen. So you have very nice sunroof up there and the rest of the stitching, as you can see, it's all very nice red and black. You have black buttons here for the door. The door handle is also black. You have a little light there. All the buttons, everything are matching the GTS trim. You have a Bose sound system here. And of course, when you open the door, you can see the Porsche logo there as well. So let's have a look at the exterior now. So there are a few other models in the uh, Taycan range. Of course, you have the uh, Taycan uh, Turismo, you have uh, the Taycan Turbo, Turbo S, and uh, uh, regular Taycan. So this is the GTS. As you can see, it's for, uh, it's in Carmine Red, and it is for around 600,000 dirhams. Yeah, that's not cheap at all. So it is, of course, a Porsche. You know, technically, all Taycan models look alike, just like how, you know, all Porsche models look alike. And uh, the Taycan models are at least identifi identified with their headlights. Otherwise, it will look exactly like a Panamera. So you have four, uh, but, uh, four bulbs there and there's Xenon uh, light in the middle. You have some sport, uh, you know, features here on the front intake. Uh, this, is, uh, this is an electric car, so it doesn't really have a radiator. But it, uh, but these vents here, of course, help in the car's aerodynamics. Now, one feature I really like are the wheels. So you have really nice uh, two-tone wheels with carbon fiber in them. And of course, you have the red uh, matching uh, brake calipers with the GTS trim. You have carbon fiber side skirts here. And uh, let's have a look at the rear seats. So you have a decent amount of leg space and head space, uh, especially with that Sun, a really nice sunroof you're going to feel quite comfortable in this car it's not really a, a family car i wouldn't recommend it if you want to have kids in it that's my opinion anyway coming to the back it's pretty sleek of course you have a very nice diffuser uh, without any exhaust pipe of course and of course you have the new signature tail light which is very sleek and uh, most models are now having the porsche letters uh, but this one has porsche letters within the glass cover of the tail light so there you can see the Taycan GTS logo as well. Now, if you want to see more videos of Porsches, like uh, let's say the new 911 Dakar, the new GT3 RS, I was at the Icos of Porsche event and I got a, got a chance to see those. So do check out those videos as well. And let me know in the comments what you think about this car. Uh, if you want to see other videos of Porsches like the Taycan, the Turbo, the uh, Boxster, the Panamera, the, uh, the 911 range, any car that you want to see from Porsche, including the 911 GT1. Yes, there was a GT1 as well and the GT1 racing car from Le Mans. I have videos of those as well. So you can find the names and links of all the Porsche videos in the video description. For other manufacturers, just head on down to my channel. I'm sure you're going to have a blast there. So let me know what you think about this car in the comments.